Hey guys, Smurl Celis here. Today I am going to be going over how to make a moving walkway. It's going to be using redstone and it's very easy to do. Um, I just want to sort of go into this walkway so you guys can see. It's very long and depending on if there are any lag spikes or anything, it may or may not break halfway through, but we'll see. Whatever way you're facing when you enter, um, it's going to keep you that way. So you pretty much just let go of everything and you just go right through. There was a little bit of a lag spike because the world's saving, but uh, we made it. So it's pretty awesome. It's super compact and really easy to do. So I have a few steps set up here, but I'll just create it for you guys. Alright, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make the moving walkway with redstone. What you're going to need is some pressure plates, depending on how big it's going to be, you're going to need more. Uh, you need some redstone torches, you need your building materials, which I am using um, pine wood logs and just half slabs to cover the pistons at the top, and sticky pistons. So what we're going to start off with is making a zigzag with your pressure plates. It doesn't matter which way your zigzag is going in, as long as it looks similar to this. So that's just going to be how long it is for now, but what you're going to do next is you're going to have to imagine yourself like Pretend there's walls here or put walls up temporarily so you can kind of figure out how it's going to work. So the way that this has to work is you're going to walk into here, the piston, the imaginary piston is going to push you forward, this piston is going to push you to the side, this piston is going to push you back, and it's just going to keep going. So with that in mind, you're going to go behind the front block and you're going to dig two down so it exposes the block that's directly below the pressure plate. And then you're going to stick a redstone torch underneath there, so it looks like this, but you have a block on top of it. It seems a little complicated, but it's really simple. Um, you don't even have to place these for now, because now that you know which way your pistons are going to be pushing, it makes it very easy to figure out which blocks are going to have to break. So you're just going to do this, since all of the pistons are going to be pushing this way, um, forwards, we're just going to go through and put all of our torches on those blocks, not that block. So once you're done with that, you can cover it up for now just to save a step. And we'll go through and do that real quick. And now you're gonna do the other side too. So keep in mind, when you go through here, you get pushed to here, and then this one is going to push you to the right. So all of the blocks that are on the left, all of the imaginary sticky pistons that are on the left side of your wa walkway are going to push to the right. So you're going to go behind this block and you're going to do the exact same thing and just put the torches directly next to the pressure plates. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and cover it up again, just making sure that the torches are activating, powering the block on top of them. And you're going to finish that up. And so here's going to be your entrance and it's just going to push you all the way to the end. And looks good. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and double like add another layer behind all of these all of these blocks. So if you can still see the torch underneath there, you're going to add another block directly behind the block that is on top of the torch. You're going to be going in the same direction so that the sticky pistons can sit back here. And you're going to do it on both sides. So we'll just finish this side up. Let me turn my brightness on. Oh turn the day. Um, so now we're just going to do the other side and keep in mind you have to remember which way your um, things are going so you don't want to put one here because the sticky piston will push ba you back so you're going to be going in a circle once you get in here so you have to make sure that everything is pushing the right way. So you're going to be making it this way. So you're going to add all of your extra blocks along the wall this way. And then you're going to go through and add your sticky pistons again, uh, one block away from the pressure plates. And that step is done. So you don't want to put blocks in front of here because as the pistons register at one tick, once we add the second torches, it's going to be a pain in the butt to go through and break all the blocks again and then replace them so that they're attached to the sticky pistons. So. We're going to break all of the blocks underneath the sticky pistons, like I just did. And instead of having a block underneath them, you're going to have a torch. 
and you'll notice that the sticky pistons like I said before will activate real quick and then let go so we're just gonna do that for the whole thing and make sure all of them are activated and now when you stand on them they're gonna push forward now we're gonna do the other side we're gonna break all of them and then you're gonna put torches right underneath to invert the power and now you're going to place your block in front so that the sticky pistons are hidden and also so it pushes you through instead of just barely missing by one block so now you can go to the front and you can test it out and you'll just get pushed sometimes you do get stuck though so keep that in mind but it pushes you all the way back to the end and now you can go ahead and start covering all of it up just to hide all your redstone like so but I think it's a, a great unique thing to add to your house it's just a lot of fun to play around with and it's so easy to make it's probably like a five minute project depending on how big your walkway is and it's the best alternative to any kind of moving walkway just because you can hide the redstone so well and the only visible kind of redstone you have are just the pressure plates so people will expect something coming but they won't know what and I just went in the thing backwards but and then you can cover it up and decorate it and we decorated this one over here like so but since it's so compact the possibilities are endless so this is honestly the best way to kind of go about hiding redstone when it comes to a moving walkway uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials on moving walkways because when people think of escalators they think of like the ones in the malls that go um, up and down like on stairs but just moving stairs and we've done an elevator tutorial before so I just want to do something a little unique and a little different something you wouldn't really expect to find but I like this tutorial a lot because it reminds me of the moving walkways that are in airports and those are so much fun anyways if you guys ever have any ideas for future tutorials or if you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know subscribe comment rate it I have three new tutorials up every single week and I am always looking for ideas but this tutorial that we did was from the previous weekly workshop where everybody on the server got together at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday and we recreated this and everybody made some versions of their own and it was it was really awesome so if you guys ever want to join the IP it will be posted down below and you guys can always feel free to partake you can give us your own suggestions you can recreate anything that I made to make it better or even if you just want to make it differently um, this server is completely free and we really love to learn from each other so that's all it is it's just a learning server you know we've all learned so many things from each other and it's just been really great so I hope to see you guys there Saturday and again I will put all of the information down in the description box below weekly workshops I'm always looking for ideas Sproga was actually the one who suggested this I just modified his a little bit um, so that you could hide redstone a little bit easier so yeah that's it guys and thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this tutorial and if you have any um, video responses you want to do on how you use this walkway or any maybe a new tutorial on how you made it different or made it better I would love to see I am very curious and I love to learn in Minecraft so please do let me know and thanks again guys and I will see you guys next time thank you again for watching have a good one